Hello everyone, welcome back to Angela's Craft Room. Today I've got another card for you using the Heartfelt Blooms Celebration Stamp Set, which is this one here. So if you're interested in getting hold of this stamp set, I suggest that you contact your nearest Stamping Up demonstrator and they'll let you know how you can get your hands on this unique celebrations stamp set. It is a beautiful stamp set. So I've just layered the card with DSP and cardstock, which we will do. And then I've colored, I've stamped the image in Memento Black Ink. And then I've used the Stamping Up Blends alcohol markers to colour it. So we're going to make another one. So we'll get started. Just pop this one over there. Now this time I'm going to more do a black and white theme which I, I think it it's going to look a lot nicer. Now I will go through the measurements with you as we're layering the card. So this is going to be our mat. This is just what's going to go on the front of the card. So I've got a piece of basic black which measures five and a quarter inches by three and seven eighths and then a piece of um, DSP and you can use any DSP and it measures five and one eighths of an inch by three and three quarters of an inch. So we'll just pop that onto the basic black cardstock. Everything I'm using today comes from stamping up. When you're putting your glue on your DSP, you don't need that much. Just try and get it as straight as possible. And just slide it so it doesn't move too much. So that's our first mat. Then we're going to use a piece of rich raspberry which measures two inches by three and seven eighths. And then another piece of DSP which measures three and three quarters by one and seven eighths. So we just want to Pop that onto the piece of rich raspberry. One of my favourite colours in the Stamping Up range. Let's try and centre it the best you can. Good thing with the multi purpose glue, it does let you move it a little bit. Only for a few seconds, though. Then I'm going to glue that onto my big piece of my first mat, which was the large one. So it just gives some interest to your card when you're layering like this. And I'm going to put it about there. It's absolutely pouring rain here today in Australia, in Queensland, Australia. And it's gone from being about 40 degrees two days ago and it's only 20 degrees today so it's a bit of a shock but I would rather it be cool like this rather than the 40 degrees which is well over 100 degrees for those that go in Fahrenheit in your country so now we've done that part and then I've got a piece of 
Whisper White which is three and a half by three and a half and as you can see I've put that through the embossing folder um, petal burst so we're just going to apply that to the card now you'll need a bit of extra glue on there because we've dry embossed it So where I only put a real little bit of glue on the DSP and the card set up previously, we just need to put a bit more so that it will really stick. And there's no wrong or right way where I'm putting this. You could even just adhere this to your card with dimensionals if you wanted to. That's what I did with the first card. But I thought I'd just stick this one down. It's pretty straight. Then we've got our card base, which is in Rich Raspberry. And it's 11 inches long. 11 inches long by 4 and 1 eighths of an inch wide and scored at five and a half and then we're just going to put that straight onto there so it's very quick and easy how to make the layered card there's no wrong and fast rules about how you layer it. It's just a matter of using different size card stocks and DSP. And it's a great way to use up your, your old DSP or if you've got a lot of DSP hanging around, it's a great way to use up your DSP. Just turn that over and give it a bit of you have to excuse my black nail. It's taking months and months to grow out. I jam my finger in the door as one does and it's just taking forever to grow. So that that is all there is to the layered part okay now inside I have already put a piece of whisper white and I've actually stamped that with a different stamp set it is one of the occasions stamp sets from stamping up for 2018 and it is called petal palette so I just used the bird and the leaf just for something different inside the card because I've been stamping this flower in all of them so I thought I'd just do something different and just to save time just pop that in there so that's all ready to go so I have started to color the flower arrangement from heartfelt blooms with my blends because otherwise the video would have just gone on way too long so the middle flower well to start with I've stamped it in using Memento Jet Black ink and then I've got a scan and cut so I cut it out with my scan and cut um, you can fussy cut it out but the scan and cut just it's just paid for itself so quickly it's I cut a lot of I do it used to do a lot of fussy cutting and now it's and it just leaves that nice little border around or you can actually choose a setting not to have a border and actually 
cut directly on the on the image but I, I tend to like that little border around the image here okay so to start with we've I started off with with the blends just to start with you get a light one and a dark one so I always like to cover my leaves with the cover my petals with the light one first so I'll just show you quickly I'll go over here so what I do is first I cover the leaf in the light right and then I get the dark one and this is where I put my shadows so the easiest way is you can see you can see where those really dark lines are there and there that's where the artist has made it so much easier for us to color because that's where they've put their impression showing us where that is should be dark so I take the dark one after I've put the light on and I just put a little bit of a line like that and then you don't go over the whole thing otherwise you're just coloring out the dark you just want to flick on the very edge of the dark and then just very carefully I go around and then I come down and then just fill it in and that's as easy as it is I'll just do that one more time this time it had a lot of dark up there like that so then I just went on the light part where it hadn't been coloured gone round like that then just just flicked out and you will notice that when you're doing it it will just blend it will blend out that's the ideal that's why they're called blends so I did that for my entire flower so you can see the darkness around there so I've done that for my entire flower Sometimes it's just hard to tell which is the dark colour and which is the light colour. So always replace your caps because otherwise the alcohol ink will dry out. So I'm going to go with pink pirouette to do these. Now another tip is with these flowers, when you're looking at the image, I've noticed a lot of people that colour them, they're not really looking where these flowers are so if you when you've stamped it when you look closely you can see this is the main flower but then there's a flower here there's a little bud in there and this is a second flower this is your third flower over here the buds there and there's a little flower there and the buds there so what I do is I take my Daffodil Delight, my small one, and you can see I've already, I just colour in where the, where the buds are so that I know where the flowers, those other three flowers are. So I just simply, I don't blend, I don't do anything, it's just a guide so I know I've got my three flowers there then they're going to be they're going to be pink pirouette 
yes, pink pirouette. So I've got the light pink pirouette. Now I don't blend as such. As I've blended this flower, I don't blend these ones. So all I simply do is just get some colour down because you want you want to choose a colour that is a lot lighter than the colour that you've used for the main flower. Like I did it in Rich Raspberry, which is a really bold colour. So that's why I've chosen the pink pirouette this time. So I'm just very quickly colouring these other three flowers, just laying down some very light pink. Now this is the light one. You, we'll see what it looks like, but I think it looks pretty good because you don't want to take it away. You don't want to take it away from the rich raspberry because that's that's your main flower. So you can see like there's a lot of um, artist impression darkness in these flowers and so you don't really have to do very much. It's the days, the big daisy that I've done in Rich Raspberry. That's the one that just concentrating there a bit. That's the one that you really want to blend and take your time doing it. And if you don't if you don't have the blends you can watercolour as well. Like later on I might do a a watercolour one for you but I've done for this is the fourth tutorial as I say for the Heartfelt Bloom stamp set so I need to move on and do a couple of other videos using the um, some of the occasions stamp sets but I can always come back and do a watercolour one for you and you can always put in the comments below if there's a particular stamp set in the occasions catalogue for 2018 or in the sad celebrations that you particularly have and you would like a tutorial on it. If I do have that stamp set, I'm more than happy to do a tutorial or a couple of tutorials on it for you. So even if you go over these twice, if you think it's a bit light, it will bring rather than use the dark. I just don't really want to use the dark pink pirouette because as I've said before I don't want to take it away too much from the main flower. So you can see why I pre-coloured the, the large one because the video would have just gone way too long. I'm trying to keep my videos under 30 minutes, which is a big thing for me, but I haven't mastered the act of fast forwarding and all that on my YouTube, so I do apologise for that. You can always fast forward the parts that you don't like. Okay, so that's given us a really nice, really light, I don't know if you can see it, but it's given a really nice pink tinge to the bouquet. And 
and then just realized we haven't done the center so I'm gonna because it's a big bud I'm going to just do little circle motions in the center and just work out and then when I've nearly got to the edge I'm just going to do little circles round the edge I mean you can really go to town on this and do a lot of blending I'm just showing you the quick way to how to use the blends and then we've got these three flowers up here and I'm going to use light pool party on those adding just notice that I've missed a little petal there so you just got to um, think what flowers what colours that you want to make them there's no wrong or right it's just what colours you think are going to go best with each other because the colours need to complement each other as well but with this image it's mainly the big daisy that takes the time you can see everything else is colouring up very fastly very fastly, it's not even a word, very fast so when you've got a bigger flower like this you just do like flick so you're not colouring in, you're, you're like flicking Normally I take a lot longer to do this but I'm just doing it so you get the ideal just another technique that you can use this stamp set. What I like to do is I like to get I like to do when I get a new stamp set I like to I like to do three or four cards just on using that one stamp set so I'm getting good value for my money so this month I've shown you four videos using the heartfelt blooms and we'll go on from there and this is just the ivory blends that I'm just putting in the middle there Just noticed I've missed a little bit there. So just go in the shape of the petal. And then all we've got, oh, we've got that one, um, we've got these little guys up here and most of it, most of it is black but I always make these the same colour as my large daisy. 
and you can blend these out by using your Winker Stella clear brush too if you want to add a little bit of glitter Another thing you get with the stamping blends is this guy and it's called a colour lifter and it's it's not erasing the colour but I've just gone outside the line so I thought it was a good opportunity to show you. If you just go along there and what it does it pushes the colour back inside the lines. Just that was very, a very thin, I most probably shouldn't have done the dark colour on the really thin lines, but anyway, it is what it is. I can fiddle with that later anyway, so, but just so you know, there's that tool as well. Now we just all we've got left is these two big leaves here and I'm just going to use the light old olive and I'm just doing little flick motions. So I get the curve, just get the curve of each leaf. And then just flick back to the center. If I wasn't in a hurry I would most probably do a bit of blending with this but I'm not going to worry today because I don't want the video to go on too long for you but you can see how quickly you can color with this and how easy it is I really hope stamping up bring out some more colors One can live in hope. So you can see down here, I don't know if you can see, you can see there's a vein going down there. So I'm just going to go down. Actually, I will get the thin end of the just very lightly go up and then you can just blend that out just gives you a bit more definition so I'm just going to do this last leaf and then we can pop it on our card So if you just go 
This one's very faint in colour, but I'm just going round the outside and then I'm just going to flick back into the centre. Just checking my head's not in the camera. So just very lightly, I'm not adding hardly any pressure because I just want to get that shape on the outside. And I'm still just flicking. Can flick from the flower out as well. Just whichever way you feel comfortable doing. I do use the blends an awful lot. I just find that they're very easy to use. I'm just going to just get that little bit there and then just flick back in towards the center. So I would normally do a lot more blending but it just, show, it just shows you how easy it is to color that. So then we're just going to get our card back in and I do like how the card is black and white. I think the first card I did was a bit too busy. So these three flowers I like to have them to the top. And then I've also um, cut out uh, oval from the layering ovals in Rich Rosaberry and then I did a smaller one. I stamped the words best wishes from that stamp set I showed you earlier, Petal Palette and then I cut out in Whisper White a smaller piece of um, cardstock and then I just adhered those together with stamping dimensionals. So before you glue your before you glue your flower down, I just want to see where I wanted to put those. And I'm going to just adhere that to my card with the stamping dimensionals so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I would really appreciate you subscribing I do two tutorials each week I'm in Australia so usually every Tuesday and Thursday I publish a tutorial for you so you're getting two a week so if you subscribe you won't miss them you'll get a little email telling you that I've published one now you can just glue that down like that or you could I did um, do it with dimensionals, which I think I will do it with dimensionals. It just pops it off the page a little bit more. And stamping up do have the 
adhesive foam strips but this is if it was a square image or something like that I'd use those but being being an odd shape I just find it easier to bit easier just using the little dimensionals so I've only got two more so I hope the tutorial hasn't gone on too long for you my next video I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on doing one using one of the new occasion stamp sets so stay tuned for that one so there we go that's the card for today and I do really like it a lot better with the white background and just mainly black and white DSP whereas with my original one I think the DSP was a bit too busy I do like both of them but I do like this one a little bit better so I hope you'll give that technique a try and as I say I've used blends but you could use watercolor um, you could watercolor it with your ink pads which I'll try and do later on I need to do a couple of more videos with different stamp sets first so thank you so much for spending some time with me today 